Well, day two, and doing good so far. Actually warmed up quite a bit from the morning. Got the fire going. My stove kind of crapped out on me. I got my emergency fuel cell one, but uh, it's as long as you got a grate on the fire. This plastic handle is a little pain in the ass, though. I got mittens and uh, pot holder anyway. And unlike yesterday, I got a lot of chopped wood. Because uh, sticking in whole pieces like these that don't chop up very well. It makes for a very small fire. That wasn't too bad though. I got my setup here. Tent shelter is really, uh, tarp shelter is really working out great. After I'm done eating here and chopping some more wood, I'm gonna I mean, you know, snooze while it's still, it's still covered in moisture. But uh, let me go inside. Dry. I just got this up here for now. This is dry. The walls are wet, but as you can see, it's touching. This is what I mean about that extension. The floor would end right at this pole normally, right? But now I got all this extra space, all this storage. The walls aren't as tight as I want, but you know what? It stops all the wind and a little bit of flap. You never hurt anybody because it's pretty tight. It ain't going anywhere. It's nice, close to the ground, super warm. I'm going to try to find my glove. I got one right here. I went to the bathroom around, I don't know, 3 o'clock in the morning. I had two gloves in my pocket, and then when I came back to the tent, I sleep with them on, and I only had one. But I didn't see it outside, so it must be trapped in my sleeping bag here somewhere. But anyway, yeah. And with the light coming through the, the tarp itself, it's pretty nice. Actually, the moonlight lit this thing right up. I didn't even need a headlamp or anything. And, uh... Yeah, I can't believe how warm this freaking sleeping bag is. But yeah, so this is the view from when you're in it anyway. I got the, the side I sleep, I got the wind block, kind of makes for a door. You can also fold in the other one, so it's just like this one. But like I said, going to the bathroom might be a little bit tougher in the middle of the night. When you gotta go, you gotta go. But I really like the tarp on the ground here. I didn't really need it, but I could have just cut the tarp in half and saved on weight, but it's it's nice not crawling on the ground or if there was snow there, right? So, all in all, I'd say it worked pretty good. And this sleeping bag's so big, I just, I pull it up and over my head. It's got a big, huge baffle that runs along the length of the zipper, so there's no drafts whatsoever. And drawstrings at the top. So, if you want to get all tightened up in there. Not too bad. Yeah, got the old trusty glow, s glow stick around the pole here so I can see it at night. Don't trip over it, I hit myself. Yeah, it's pretty nice. There was actually deer in the field here a little while ago. Kind of scared them off when I started chopping wood and turning on my music. But <laughs> So far, as long as you bring the, the right sleeping and uh, clothing gear, I don't see any reason why this couldn't uh, work in the winter. All right, and you're going to be cold, you're going to be cold. Um, well, you know, if you didn't bring enough clothing, you're going to be cold anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And as long as it keeps the rain and the snow out, that's all. I'm really in the wind. It's pretty much like any other tent, except half the weight. Well, let's check on the water. Oh, I guess I better put it put a fire under its ass, literally. Alright, well, that's it for now. There's my music. Oh yeah, we're rocking out. Dun, 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 dun. Got some lifting. Ah, cool. Peace out.